is at the dentist this morning so this farm wife is gonna see if she can get some corn in some buckets I haven't done it by myself but I watch him do it every morning so surely I can he didn't ask me to but he's got a lot to do today when he gets back so here's hoping I can do this here we go. And the squirrels are running. So many squirrels. Go get them, Bonnie. Get them. Find them. There they go. I hear them. There they go. They're going to go up the rafters. There it goes. Watch. <laughs> Having a heyday in this corn still. Oh. Crazy. Well, we ran out, which we knew we were very close to running out. I only got five, five buckets and we, excuse me, we need 16 to feed. So I'm going to have to wait on the farmer to get back so we can grind some. But I did that. I did that all on my own and I never have done that on my own. So... We're just going to do a small amount in here and then later we're going to come back and pull it out and do a large amount. We just need to get enough to feed this morning and then get some other stuff done today before we grind a whole lot. feed. We're a little late this morning, aren't we? Takes work. Takes work. Sorry. We're here. Okay. All the weenies are fed. <laughs> this morning has felt like it has gone on forever. Well, it's the end of the day. We just had supper. And it's deja vu. We're back to grind more corn. It looked like it was going to storm, but it didn't. So we should be good. It's actually quite lovely now. Lovely, lovely. truck looks bad. I'm gonna bring her out. Ask him to put her in the shade. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That'll work good. Bonnie, you don't need to sit in there. Come on. It's too hot. You 
getting ready to grind corn? Wish you could help. <laughs> Bringing out the, the little grandbaby, the little grandbaby John Deere. <laughs> we acquired, we bought a really good deal a couple of years ago. It comes in handy for things like this. All that corn, if you were around this winter, you saw all the corn that we had in here. It was full all the way down. We've gone through a mess of corn. Gail, that's what I'm gonna call her. Miss Gail was not feeling very well. Her auger kept quitting. Bless her heart. <laughs> uh, but we got a good size run done, so that's good. What did I not finish? I didn't finish my job, evidently. I don't know what that was. Oh. Evidently, he means moving, moving the samurai back. Whoops. He's got it. Anyway, like I was saying, Miss Gail wasn't feeling very well, but we got our, we got it done. And hopefully, that'll be enough for the next few days. We've got some weenies that we're feeding. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about wean calves when I say that. And we've got a group leaving this weekend, so it's taking more feed right now. But anyway, I do need you to check something out, though. I mean, not the tanks. They're not pretty, but the sunset's pretty. And the old metal is not pretty, but the sunset. Focus on the sunset. It's pretty. We got a $8 rope swing thing from Aldi. Disc swing. Disc swing. Excuse me. Three and Not plus. disc swing. Disc, disc swing. Mom, I think you're way I over three, and pl three plus. <laughs> I am way over three plus. But <laughs> I did not go over the weight limit. So I trusted it. I think this thing's going to get some good use this year. This is where my swing was, the one that the dogs mutilated, so <laughs> it's not funny. Neither is this. This is not funny. Bonnie, Bonnie, you spilt your food? You did that. Did you do that? You have to clean all that up. All of it. Laziest dog ever. 
spills her food out of her bowl and, and then, then lays on the ground and eats it. But sometimes she doesn't eat it all. And drools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. This is this is us right here. In a nutshell. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> I hope this thing don't break. You didn't think I could swing, did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a little scary when you go out there. <laughs> hey y'all. Okay, I am here with a quick dessert hack. That's what I'm gonna call it, since we're in this whole hack business here. From tea starter to dessert hack, okay? I showed this in one of my other vlogs. I can't even remember which one now but I didn't show you how to make it in several, several, if I could talk, life would be so much better. Several of you asked how to do it. So tonight I have company coming and about an hour ago, I realized that I had not made any, what's the word, um, arrangements for dessert. So this is what we're doing. We're doing dump cake. My granny made the best dump cake and it's so easy and it's always a hit. I actually have a gallon of vanilla ice cream, which is perfect on top of hot dump cake. And now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, tonight's lineup, cast of characters for awesome, amazing, easy peasy dump cake. Yellow cake mix, whatever kind you want. Crushed pineapple, whatever brand you want. Blueberry pie filling. Um, this oh, it can be any brand, but you can also substitute blueberry for um, apple or peach or cherry. See, we're all about um, choices around here. A stick of butter. I always use salted. You don't have to. And some pecans. You can substitute a different kind of nut. It doesn't matter. I mean, I think pecans are better, but Use what you got. I'm all about using what you got, making the best of it, and it's still, it's still gonna work out. That just gives it a little crunch on the top. Okay, I'm gonna show you how we do this. The oven is preheating to 350. I'm using a glass dish. It feels weird not using one of my cast iron. In fact, I thought about putting in a cast iron skillet, but I need that to cook my steaks. And this will be able to store, if there's any leftovers, it will store better in the fridge. So, put your stick of butter in your dish. Hmm. I was broiling something last time. Let that melt. Don't let it burn. Let it melt. And we'll go from there. This recipe, I have to chop up some pecans. So, I take, I don't know, about a cup or so. If I'm feeling really... Ambitious, I'll use my electric one. If not, I'll just use this little hand chopper. Which requires a lot of elbow grease. A few more for good measure. I have a feeling somebody's gonna ask me about my shirt, so I'll just give one of my favorite companies a little shout out. Johnny Cash, coffee, and on the back, it says in the morning having coffee with her, which is what he told somebody in an interview one time when he said what was his idea of heaven. Having coffee with Jean. I love Johnny. Oh, and the shirt is from Bison Union Company. Bison Union, one word, dot com. I told y'all not to burn the butter and I almost did. So what I'm going to do now, oh, I got blueberry on my phone. I'm gonna take this butter and pour it out of here into another little dish. Hot pads. Hot pads are good here. Okay, woo, watch out. Might slosh out. Okay, Whoa. pour that in there. Now, this is where the fun comes in and why it is called a dump cake. You're literally going to dump cans of things <gasps> into the pan and you've got a dump cake and i have done some things into the dump cake 
Yes, you can. Let me do this one first. So first, I dump the blueberry pie filling. Okay. I don't usually use a spoon. Well, maybe I do. Spread it out a little bit. You're really not supposed to stir it though. You're just supposed to layer things. Okay. So, we've got our blueberries. Look good. Now we take our crushed pineapple. You want to do it? Okay. This is a hot pan. It's been in the oven. All right. You got to pour it evenly everywhere. Let me help you. Yeah. It went in my eye. Oh, it went in our eye. Okay. Okay. So we've got our pineapple on top of our blueberry. It's very liquidy, which is fine. And then... Ooh, flour. Hmm. It's not flour. Huh? It's cake mix. Oh. Then you dump the cake mix evenly over the top, which is obviously going to soak up a lot of that pineapple juice. Okay. Might just spread it out a little bit. All right. And then... You're gonna take your butter and just kind of pour it. Some people actually, I think, just put like dots of butter. Sometimes I go back and do that too. Who needs dots of butter? When and you I got do that. that. Who needs dots of butter? Just because more butter, more butter is better. And then you put your pecans on top and. You got a dump cake in the making. And then you just cook it for about 30 minutes until it's bubbly. Oh, whoa, whoa. See it bubbling around the edges. And it's so, so good. So because butter makes everything better and it looked like there might have been a few little bare patches, I just added a few more dots of butter. Totally not necessary, but totally not gonna hurt anything. In case you forgot, spread butter and spread love. Here we go, y'all. That's what I'm talking about right there. See, it's all bubbly. It's so good, so good. Please try this if you've ever done it. And if you haven't done it lately, do it soon. You'll thank me. All right, peace out.